it was very easy to think about my family or myself having to be that one of those patients and if anybody saw that they would not they wouldn't take a chance. Bevan Strickland says one of the hardest parts is the uncertainty, not knowing when COVID-19 victims last talked to their loved ones and leaving Mount Sinai, Queens without being able to check on many of her patients. I hope they did okay. I don't know. Sucks not knowing. Bevan signed on as a travel nurse six weeks ago to help relieve an overcrowded emergency department. Covered in PPE, she wasn't able to connect with patients who were scared and alone, an experience that will impact the rest of her nursing career. And anything we can do to help reduce that vulnerability or make them feel safe, I'm just going to work as hard as I can in every situation to do that. She says the last two weeks brought some relief. The constant influx of patients began to slow, and staff could celebrate more successful recoveries. Somebody, COVID patient got discharged. That's what that means. The most beautiful thing to me, and I saw it in New York every day, and I felt it from social media and from my family and friends, you know, um, was people just going, just wanting so much to support other people. Her 16 year old sons are relieved mom is home safely. Her decision to go came as no surprise. Yeah, she uh, definitely taught me like that you shouldn't let really anything stop you. She knew when she was going to New York how bad it was there. While her long shifts are over, Bevan says she isn't done working. We're gonna do what we can to help here.